Chanel, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting and discussing Crook. Now, I looked to actually translate this and it came up as foolishness. I'm not sure if that's correct or not, so I'm not going to speculate. I saw the word betray, but... You know, that's kind of... I, I don't speak Slovakian. But originally released in 2018 on Fallen Empire Records, which I really wish was still around, just so I could get the last Death Fortress LP, because I, I missed the last... Uh, I missed the last one and the first one and then I would have my collection completed. But Fallen Temple was a badass record label and Crook happens to be a project with Sean Eldridge on drums and you have M. Surika on guitar, bass, and vocals. If you know that man's name, you know he's in some of the fucking coolest projects out there just when it comes to doing something familiar but different like his death metal stuff it doesn't sound just like your normal death metal records his black metal material it doesn't sound like your typical black metal this is more along the lines of Bolzer meets Blue Hummingbird on the left that's what I personally hear out of this and that's a good thing when it comes to black metal because it's just on the fucking money like although it has its own vibes it just reminded me vocally of Bolzer with the kind of you know the way like the vocals are on Hero for example not Soma and whatnot I, I forget what came before Soma but like Hero and even the drums remind me of Hero Writing wise, fuck yes, it's incredible. Like the atmosphere, the heaviness, just everything about it is, you know, one of those reasons that make me seek out these releases like this. Like, I remember as soon as I saw this pop up, I hit up my buddy and I was like, yo check this out like I couldn't believe that this got reissued and yeah thank you John Randall total fucking support now this is one of those releases that like you don't need to be a fan of black metal to enjoy it has some death metal elements, but to me, this is a black metal release. I, I just think it's fucking... It's done so well, and... Like, uh, I have nothing to even say. What? Ridiculous. This is the type of stuff that stands out, and you know, this might have went under a lot of people's noses back in 2018. I know it went under mine, but Fallen Empire was one of those record labels like you kind of had to be on it 
or it was either gonna sell out or just their their stuff was hard to get like for example these death fortress records were not easy I ended up getting lucky and I got this at a Siege Column show, and this at a Massive Retaliation and Siege Column show. But I'm missing the two other ones, and the, um, I think it's Mars Fortress cassette. I could have grabbed it too, but I let my buddy Hal grab it. But Fallen Empire, it's a badass record label was a badass record label and for this to get reissued it's giving me hope that maybe some more Fallen Empire records will get released because this is just it, it's so fucking dialed Crook I really I, I don't know how to pronounce Slovakian but some of the lyrics are in a different language, some are in English, but it's just awesome. We in groups of many are faced with the cruel reality of nature's necessity to eat, to consume others. We in a common stomach share the absence of food, none to grow with, we are the sun, Without another's half, our bodies weaken, our bodies decay. There's nothing to stop this and nothing to prevent this. Others always seem to be responsible for our suffering, and we are responsible for theirs. White winter comes again as a reaper on wind. All is lost. Yeah. If you like pummeling black metal with atmosphere, very kind of epic vocals, Krook have you covered. It's not your typical like, yeah, yeah, and you know, super ultra grim black metal. It's something that, you know, is definitely special. It's worth your time. This is not, you know, a band that, again, for example, they're not like digging into the past for their sound. Like, there's no parts on here that sound like dissection, for example. Like, it just, yeah, this is modern black metal done right. It doesn't sound ancient. It's the way black metal, I would think, would sound in 2018 proper. A little artsy, but not too much. It's very, to me, it's pummeling. Like, I really love the drum sound production wise. The vocals are fucking fantastic. The guitars, thick as hell. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I love me some raw, like, ultra cold production. But this is something, maximum volume yields maximum results. Like, this is the complete opposite of something like Valak that I love. So fucking much. It's on the complete opposite end of the black metal spectrum, and I think that's fucking awesome. Because you have the ultra raw lo-fi stuff, you have the ancient sounding stuff, and then you have the more I wouldn't say out there, but definitely different sounding black metal. And I feel like Krook really fall under that category of pushing boundaries of experimentation with their music. And 
And although this is originally a 2018 release, it holds up very, very well. And I just think, you know, it's an amazing, amazing slab of black metal. And I would try and get a copy before it sells out and you're stuck with Discog prices because trust me, this is one of those releases you're gonna wanna get your hands on. Even if you're not the biggest black metal fan, this has something I feel that almost everybody can enjoy a song on this record. Like the instrumental track on here, wow. That's worth buying this alone for, but every track on here is just A plus black metal. And like I said, there's a lot of influence from, I feel like, Bolzer hero error. Like vocally, the way the drums sound. I mean, there's no 12 string guitar or anything like that, to my knowledge. I don't really know. I didn't look this up when it came to, you know. Because I know M. Sorka, he's one of those guys, he's so fucking talented when it comes to writing extreme music. Like, I think his one band, I, I know I, I'm gonna fuck this up, I think it's uh, Technoborg or something like that. I, I can't pronounce it off the top of my head, but. Yeah, stuff like that, it's fucking, you know, again, familiar, but it's out there, and I think that's fucking cool. And a release like this from Kruk getting a reissue on cassette, that's fucking awesome. And, you know, originally released, like I said, by Fallen Empire Records in 2018. Crook have returned with this reissue and it is fucking fantastic. And I have to thank John Randall for snagging that for the channel and thank you folks at home for watching as always. You fucking rule. <gasps>